Hello and welcome to another RadToots.com Flash Action Script tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain how to make a character move around on our screen and travel behind objects and in front of objects, and also I'm going to explain collision detection. So the first thing I've done is I've created several, several layers on our Flash document. And here we've got the Actions layer, which is where all our Action Script is going to go. And then we've got the Ground layer, and this will contain all of the objects that our character will be in front of. And then we have our character layer, which is going to be above the ground layer. And then we have this layer called above. And anything that our character is going to go behind will go onto this layer. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select our ground layer. And I'm going to click and drag this grass image. onto our canvas here. So now we've got a nice ground for our character to walk on. Now I've also gone ahead and I've I've entered the action script that is going to attach our character to our root movie clip and he's going to move around on the root. So if I test this movie we've got our character here and he's walking around and that's good but we want to change this a little bit we want to make sure that we have a movie clip on this particular layer here that we're going to attach our character to. So I'm going to create a new movie clip and I'm going to call it the character layer or char layer for short. And this is just going to be a blank movie clip. Now I'm going to come over here to the library and making sure I have the character layer selected. I'm going to drag this character layer over here and I'm going to make sure it's set to zero. So that's our starting point for our character. And I'm going to make sure I have an instance name and we're, we're just going to call it character layer. Now this is the movie clip we're, that we're going to attach our character to. So when we attach him to this movie clip it will ensure that he is on this layer here, the character layer. So anything we put on this layer, he's going to travel behind. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to change our action script code. And instead of attaching the ca uh, character movie to the root, we're now going to attach it to the char layer. And if we test this, pretty much the same as before, but now he's uh, we know what layer he's on. So now that we've got this figured out, we can come back here to our ground, and I'm going to select this house image here. I'm just going to put it right there in the center. And then I'm going to come up here to the above layer, and I'm going to attach the roof of the house. Now we should see the character travel behind this roof here, and he should be in front of the house, so let's test that out. So there he goes, he's going behind the roof, but he's also in front of the house. So that's how we organize our, our layers. Now I'm going to create one more layer, and we'll call this layer Walls. And what we're going to put here is we're going to we're going to uh, first we're going to insert a new symbol, a movie clip, and we'll just call it walls. And then we'll click and drag this onto our canvas here. Make sure it's set to zero and zero. And this movie clip is going to contain all of our all of our walls that our that our character is going to be colliding with. So we'll make sure this has an instance name of walls. And then if we double click and go into this movie clip, and we just select a a box, a rectangle shape, and this is where we're going to draw in all our walls. So we want our character to collide with uh, any of the shapes that we draw on this layer here. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle there. So this is the area where he's not going to be able to go. And I'm just going to set the transparency of this 
walls movie clip so that it, we can sort of see through it. And eventually we'll just set this to zero so it's not visible, but for now we, we want it sort of to be a little bit visible. Okay, so now that we've got our layers all figured out, I'm going to show you the code for the collision detection. And this code is quite long, so I've gone ahead and uh, I've copied and pasted it, and I'm just going to go through it line by line and explain it. So basically, the best way to do this is we detect if the player is going down, uh, and then we use the command if walls dot hit test, and then we put in our um, our x and y coordinates. So I'm just going to explain this uh, this hit test function. Um, basically, when you're when you're testing, uh, when you're using the hit test function, it's a function of the object that you're testing the collision with. So in this case, we're te testing to see if something is colliding with our walls. So we use the object walls, and then we say hit test. And then the, the first parameter is going to be a point, and it's going to be our, the X position of our character. So since we're still in the character on enter frame object, we use this to refer to our character, and then we give it the X coordinate of our character. And here I'm adding the width uh, divided by 2, and subtracting six, this just gives a uh, more accurate position of our of where our character is. Uh, so we could use just this underscore x, but it's only going to give us a rough uh, collision detection. This is sort of the more fine-tuned version here. And then for our next parameter, we want to give it the uh, the y position of the point that we're testing on our character movie clip. So we could say this dot underscore y and this is going to test the um, the hit test based on our origin and then the third the third parameter uh, is a boolean which means e either true or false and I'm not sure what that one is all about let me see this again it says uh, threshold number. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, but I just set it to to true. Okay, so the first uh, the first if statement, we're testing the bottom right corner of our character object. So these x and y coordinates I've, I've put in here for the first and second parameters are the bottom right corner of our character. And then we also test the bottom left corner of our character, which is uh, we're subtracting uh, from our x position. So if there is a collision, uh, we're setting the y will collide variable of our character. We're setting that to true. And then further down in our code, we say if the Y is going to collide. So if the character is moving down or up, and he's going to collide uh, when he's moving up or down, then we set the Y speed to zero. And it's pretty much the same thing with the uh, with the X direction. So if if he's moving right to left and he's going to run into something from the left or the right, we set our x speed to zero. Another thing to keep in mind is we want to add the speed to our um, to our coordinate when we're doing the hit test. So you can see here that I've added the y coordinate of our character, but I'm also adding the y speed. So this is gonna this is gonna pre predict whether the character is going to collide in the next frame because we're adding the y speed to the y coordinate. 